Sorry, I think the, uh, and the, it's on my own sheet, which I... That's where, uh, then you can type in... So it, it now it's more complex than here, but it gives you still this... Uh, so we made it this way, and it is, it's interactive, so you can type in, and then you can see that the, the, you can get this value. I, if you really have beautiful data and type series, I'm, I'm happy to run them uh, as a series. Um, I mean, I, my problem is that I'm always interested in analyzing the data and not in making beautiful interfaces. And, and how knows that problem? Then you, so then you get a sloppy type of, uh, of interface with them. I, so I, I'm not a developer. Uh, but here you can put it in and then you can uh, try to get that value out of it. It's very simple if you are a bit mathematical and you're skilled then you can also program it yourself. Yeah. We can send you the code. Yeah. Several people have made it in mm -hmm. the code. This already had been shown by Han. Yeah, it's from his presentation in Glasgow, 2009. It's the paper which is upcoming. This is dictatorship and democratization limits. We have that type of beautiful results for every type of I'm going to present a few that you you really can understand things in terms of this indicator. Uh, this is for Japan. This is the lady Yuan Sun uh, from the National Institute of Inf Information, I think, and with her professor Masamitsu Mutishi, and he has worked a lot on the data. So the paper was in the Journal of the uh, American Society of Information Science and Technology last year. Uh, you can find it there. And what you see, this is about Japan. So they, they really analyzed Japan in detail. And what you see, if we, if we, this is first university industry relations, that's a long-term trend. Yeah? It means that university industry relations are less. Mutual information is a measure of relationship. So there's more, there's erosion of university industry relations in Japan. That's what this shows in terms of publications. Yeah? In summary. So there's a lot of attention from the Japanese government to stimulate it, but it disappears. And why does it disappear? Because university professors are not interested in collaborating with industry, they're interested in collaborating with foreign scholars. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So they want to do something else. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do the same curve for university uh, foreign relations, you get that curve. Probably it's on one of the next sheets. I'm a little confused. When last time yeah. you said if uh, the number decreases the relationship of... Uh, that was three dimensions. This is two dimensions. This is only university industry relations. Okay. Yeah? So and it's not triple helix. Yeah, yeah. So you you see that the university industry, and this is what happens for to the triple helix. Yeah, T U Y G. It disappears. The reduction of synergy disappears, and this is why, because the university industry relations disappear. Yeah, yeah. So that's happening in Japan. It seems. The next picture makes this more complex. Yeah, it summarizes. Here you first see that that line. It, they call it university foreign in the database. The F stands for foreign. Yeah, university foreign. These are all those university professors who want to collaborate with foreign. Uh, yeah, <coughs> scholars. Yeah, uh, people abroad. And these are the university industry relations. And here you see university governance foreign relations. Also not. So yeah. The, so this is triple. Yeah. So this is taking a bit more, so there are some, th this is climate change type of research, yeah. So this university professors, government officers, and foreign people, yeah, people from abroad, yeah. And here you see university government relations, industry government relations, this big, and this is now a very interesting curve. Because this is the curve of the four relations, you cannot directly relate three dimensions to two dimensions or four dimensions, but you can study it in itself, and then you see that there are four dimensions. So when the university, the industry, the government, and the foreign people are involved, then there goes a reduction of the uncertainty in the system. And that takes place from 1992 onwards. What happened in 
the early 90s, it's China, it's the disappearance of the Soviet Union, it's globalization. It's precisely also what happened in Korea when we have this curve. It's early 90s. Yeah? Something is changing in the system. Yeah? And what happened in, in Japan? Japan developed mechanisms to use international relations for the national system. And the question now is, does, does Korea also have those mechanisms? And we, we are going to answer that question because Helen provides me with the data. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you understand the point? So it is the Japanese who had a very close system for a long time. I already mentioned that yesterday. Yeah. Where in an international environment which became more complex, like the Chinese going all, uh, all around, yeah, the, 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 the system disappearing in, in, the, in the East, yeah, the system changed and the Japanese found ways to integrate this international publication system into their national system and to have a reduction of uncertainty in the four dimensions. This, it's still dramatic what is happening here. Yeah, it's still dramatic what is happening here from a point of view of triple helix relations. But obviously, what happens is that someone from IBM in the United States plays a role in internal relations in the, in the Japanese system so that a Japanese scientist from industry and a Japanese uh, colleague from the university find it both attractive to collaborate with that guy in Seattle. Yeah to do a paper together, yeah, or somewhere in the United States, or somewhere in Europe. So it's mostly Europe and the United States. Yeah. 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 And Japan itself is, of course, the third partner in this. Okay. So it's still a very hierarchical system. Eh? It's a center with a periphery, yeah? and people try to go into the center, to, to work together in order to get the attention of people who are more central, more, more higher in the hierarchy. It's, it, it's the normal inclination. You try to link up with people who are above you. But, yeah. but there is no trend line for university industry for you know? University industry for you. University industry for you. you yeah, no, it's, it's in the paper. You can find all the trend lines in the paper. But here for presentation yeah. purposes, I, I have left it out. But I'm sure it's going down the university industry fund. We only found the, uh, uh, the interesting curve here, and that's why I highlighted here. Yeah. This, this is the interesting curve which I want to show, and these are two long-term trends, university foreign and university industry relations. I, I don't even know it by mind. I wouldn't have to look at that. Yeah. Okay, this is Korea data. It's an extension of the data which Hans showed a moment ago, and he was so kind to give it to me to show this to you. Uh, here you see bilateral relations in Korea, including the foreign relations. Yeah. And you see the same effect. What is this? This is university foreign, I think. Is it? Yeah, it is. It is this curve. University foreign relations. So it's in university professors working together, and that's the globalization internationally. Yeah. That's what they want to do, and all the other curves go down. Yeah. <laughs> so, the triple helix, when it was invented, let's say in 1994, it was still very relevant, but it <laughs> as it was invented, it was also disappearing. Yeah. It's a bit paradoxical. So, and then we do the same analysis for Korea. And here you have the three-dimensional and the four-dimensional. The four-dimensional is this one. So this means the three-dimensional ones. And so we are living now at the last 10 years. Eh? The period which seems to be so dramatic for, that we have globalization effects. So we, in the, we see that university industry foreign relations no synergy. This one, university government foreign relations, no synergy. There was some synergy in Japan. Yeah? But in university industry government and foreign relations, we see that there is a similar trend as in Japan. 
but it is bending off. If you, you can also see that there is stability in the system. So what seems to be the case, but it's very preliminary, we still have to write the article, is that the Korean system is rather stable. And I don't know if that corresponds with your experience, but it seems to be that there is kind of level of everything which is no longer changing. And I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's none of my business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not a Korean. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, that's what uh, our, my impression from this data is. Yeah. I, I don't know how many have another interpretation of the data. We still have to write the paper. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it gives the impression that it is stabilizing. This is also, you can also draw the curve a bit differently in the previous year. It's also the other way around. So this is what we have from Korea. What does it lead me to? To some conclusions about the science system. And this is not only based on these two analyses. We also did a collaboration analysis with Karen Wagner, uh, she's from the United States. On, and there we saw that this set, we did the collaboration for all the international collaborations. And then you see that there is a core group, yeah? actually we call it not Euroland, but science land. It's the core group, it's the United States, it's the UK, it's the Benelux countries, it's France, Germany, Italy, Poland, Russia, Sweden, and that's it. <laughs> yeah? That's really the core group. Yeah? And it's not even all the EU countries. Yeah. Not all the Spain is in, but Portugal is not. Yeah. yeah. Austria. Austria, Switzerland. Yeah. Austria, Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course they. Yeah. So it's that core group, and the the rest of the world is collaborating with each other, and is now is mainly collaborating with that core group. So if you have an international collaboration in, let's say. Benin, somewhere in Africa, you can, nine of the ten times it's a postdoc, someone who has done a postdoc in the United States has gone by home and is still collaborating with his professor in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and 